Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic for biochemistry in just three minutes is gluconeogenesis. So first definition of gluconeogenesis. So gluconeogenesis is the pathway where there is a synthesis of glucose from non-carbohydrate substrates. Now what are this non-carbohydrate substrate? So the first one is a glucogenic amino acid in which alanine is the important substrate. Second one is the lactate. Third one is a glycerol part of fat. And the fourth one is a propionyl CoA, which is derived, which is derived from the beta oxidation of odd chain fatty acids. Now, what is the tissue location of gluconeogenesis? So, the principal site is liver as well as in the renal cortex. And the subcellular location for the gluconeogenesis, it is partially cytosolic as well as partially mitochondrial, just like that of heme synthesis pathway. Now, what is the significance of gluconeogenesis? So, gluconeogenesis is very, very important for the regulation of blood glucose especially during overnight fasting as well as during the starvation because RBC and brain cells they need continuous supply of glucose for their proper functioning and the second important significance is gluconeogenesis is very very important for the clearance of various metabolic end products like lactate from the RBC as well as from the muscle. Now what are the reactions of gluconeogenesis? So gluconeogenesis is the partial reversal of glycolysis. As you can see in the image, gluconeogenesis and glycolysis, they share the same pathway but in, but in the opposite direction. And for the three irreversible steps of glycolysis, there are four different enzymes in a gluconeogenesis. For the hexokinase and glucokinase step in glycolysis, in gluconeogenesis, there is a presence of glucose 6-phosphatase enzyme. For the phosphofructokinase enzyme in a glycolysis, there is a presence of fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase enzyme and for the pyruvate kinase enzyme in a gluconeogenesis, there is a presence of pyruvate carboxylase and phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase. Now what are the regulation of gluconeogenesis? So gluconeogenesis and glycolysis both are reciprocally regulated. That means if gluconeogenesis is active, at that time glycolysis will be inactive. And the insulin will act as a repressor for the gluconeogenesis while hyperglycemic hormones like glucagon, adrenaline and cortisol, they will act as a inducer for the gluconeogenesis. Now what are the allosteric activator and inhibitor? So for the pyruvate carboxylase, allosteric activator is acetyl-CoA and inhibitor is ADP while for the, uh, while for the, uh, while for the fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase Allosteric activator is the citrate while inhibitor is AMP and fructose 2,6-bisphosphate. So that is all about gluconeogenesis. Thank you.